Hi guys, welcome to another Path of Time video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, what is going to be very important they're going to add into the release for Path of Titans. So we'll, let's just start with Poisonous Bangs. They announced in like the live stream of Sumo's and um, their dev streams that they're adding Poisonous Bangs. And what they mean by that means like, so let's just say a certain dinosaur bites you. You've been instantly poisoned, and then you basically get damaged from it. And there's no, I don't think there's going to be any healing for that or anything. The only thing that's going to probably be is that you better be lucky you survive it. Uh, remember how, like, the aisle has the bleed? So that's basically what they're doing it for that. But it said they're using the bleed for stop your healing. Can you imagine how they're going to use that for, like, poisoning your, like, you know, health? And it just keeps going down. The more they bite you or something, it gets more affected. That's crazy. I think that is the most important thing they're going to be added in. And I think that's going to be legit. Fun, too. So I'm glad. Uh, another thing they're going to be adding in is aquatic and fly creatures. They said they're going to be adding aquatic and fly creatures. They didn't tell us what kind, but they said, like, certain fly creatures are going to be adding up. For don't know what time for like in the release they said they didn't say when they're gonna add it in but they said they're definitely gonna add that in anyways and last but not least it's gonna be uh permadeath i heard that uh they said they're not gonna be adding permadeath i really don't know the reason why they're not gonna add it in i recently looked in the live stream they said they really didn't really need to add permadeath but they said they were probably thinking it as maybe like an option for like mods or something. Because they did say like in mods you can basically do anything. So I guess maybe they're going to be adding permadeath in mods. And I think they should do that that way. But even if they did add in permadeath then to the regular gameplay, that would be cool too. But here's what they said they're going to do. So there is going to be consequences, right? But there's going to be when you die, you lose all your marks and basically your abilities, I think. That's what they, they classify from. I could be wrong with the abilities part, but I know that they're, you're going to be losing marks and levels with that. Because it will make the gameplay experience better. And then if you think about it, this is basically like permadeath. But kind of like slimmered, cut off, if you think about it. It's like it, they kind of shredded a little bit and made it kind of you will lose what you progress from, but you won't lose your growth or anything. So you still do the same damage, but not as more because of your help from your abilities or something. Because each ability does different things and it could help you with fighting or something and you will get more of an advantage. So that's basically the downfall of that. And but think but if you think about it, that's pretty all right. It's same thing if it's permadeath. Permadeath does the same thing. Like all it does for permadeath, it just takes away that you progress from, and you gotta start all over. That I don't mind, but sometimes people don't have time for that, and sometimes people do. So it's a fifty-fifty on each side here, right? But here's my gesture. Here's like the main thing that's very important because I always say the best for last. I think what they're doing now is very good. I think it's very smart for the game, in my opinion, right? I like, I don't mind if there will be permadeath or anything. I don't care. Like all games sometimes have it if you think about it. But in a way, it's what it is is what it is. But the point is being they will not be adding permadeath unless something change. Like the only way they'll probably add permadeath is up to you guys like voting or something. I don't know, like make convince them in the discord, but that's it. But otherwise they will just be adding it the way they are. So you know what? Let's give this a name. Since like it has a name for permadeath, let's give this a name, right? Death demoted. Why call it that? 
Well, basically, it has a good ring to it, if you think about it. And it also makes the, the situation of what they're putting as of what they, like, basically describing. Basically, you will lose something, but not completely. So they're basically lowering you. They're lowering your rank. That's all they're doing. They're just lowering your rank, and then that's it. You're done. You, you just have to do it over to get your what level you're on and your abilities back. And each time when you do quest. And that's basically it. So that's why I'm thinking I'm calling it. Let's just call it that. And if you guys do like the name. Put it in the comment section below. But anyways guys. It was fun talking to you and everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if so. I will probably do sometimes more of it. And if I think it's necessary. But other than that. I'll always be doing gameplays and videos. So you guys can watch and enjoy. Either other way. So see you peeps later. Bye, guys.